Hey everybody, another video in the Refine Your Topic series. So your instructor wants you to write a paper uh, using resources found through the library's website, searching our databases instead of just Googling. So the hard part about it is you a lot of times will come up with a wonderful topic working with uh, your instructor or just one instructor going along and it's great that you have it all outlined and you have everything you want to do and then you go to run your research and you find there's no research out there to support or it's very hard to find and then you're stuck because you committed to this paper and you just can't find any of the resources and then it just becomes a problem. So what I would recommend, start your refining and hunting for a topic using the databases because you're going to have to go back to the databases to support this paper in the end anyway, so you may as well work in conjunction with them. I'm going to bypass this search box right here because I'm going to run kind of a complicated search or I'm going to do a lot of experimenting with this search. See, this is how I don't really know what I'm going to write about, but it won't be very hard to figure that out. I'm going to go to advanced search right here. Now, my goal is to find a topic that interests me and that's related to something that I'm going to work on or something that I'm studying. Uh, the assignment in particular I'm looking at says, write about a challenge or an opportunity in your career field and um, you write a paper on this and you need to support it with, you know, what they say, five to seven or eight to 10 resources, sometimes I say peer reviewed. I wanna make sure we have all those things covered before I commit to this topic. So <clears throat> let's say I'm studying project management and I'm just going to run a general search. Notice how I'm putting this in uh, quotation marks. I want that exact phrase project management. I'm not looking for project and management, I'm looking for project management, okay? And I'm just going to run a search because I know I wanna write something about project management because I'm that's what I'm studying. Okay, well, that's not going to be a problem, 285,321, but I can't write a paper just on project management. I have to get do something, something more specific within this, and this really won't be too hard. Uh, one, the first thing that comes to my mind is certification. There's a lot of certifications you have to get project management. What, let, me, let me know about that. Are those necessary? How does that work? What's going on with that? So I just thought of that about certification, if I can spell it correctly. Certification, okay, here we go. All right, 2,527, that's great, that's wonderful. Let's narrow this down to years, it's going all the way back to 1985. Let's get a little more current with that, 2016 to 2022. Okay, we still have 881, that's wonderful. Uh, what if, um, what if certification was in the tie, had to be in the title? make this more specific. <clears throat> okay, 375, there's still, still a lot of this. Now, I, wanna, I might wanna get more specific. Now I see things like the importance of certification, the value of this. It gives me some ideas to write this down. Now, at this point, if you wanted to just go for it, I think this is a topic you very well could write about. We, this is not very hard. It's just as I'm narrowing down my topic, as I'm trying to refine this, I'm working with the databases to make sure there's gonna be research to support this. I've seen this over and over and over again of students who find a wonderful topic and the very last step they go, they're feeling great about it, then they go try to research it and there's just nothing. You have to work with the database because that's gonna be a big part of your assignment to back this up. Okay, let's put in here importance. Now I'm going to put this, because it may be important also. So I'll do that and do an asterisk. So I get every version, important, importance, Okay, or value, or how about, kind of like that, so they're, they're suggesting topic, they're suggesting words now. How about benefit, and then do an asterisk for benefit or beneficial, or how about necessary? No, we could do necessity too, so I'll do an asterisk there. Does that make sense? I want this with any kind of spelling, so necessary, necessity, there would be an I there, so that asterisk says, any words spelled like that with any ending. Beneficial, benefit, benefits, any spell, any word like this spelled like this with any ending. Important, importance, any word that looks like that with any ending. That's what that asterisk does. Those ors, I'm saying this, or that, or that, or that. Let's do a search here. I'm leaving these boxes alone. I like what's going on there. Okay, look at that, 27. Even if I got really specific like that, even with certification being in the title, there's still 27, that's going to be enough to, uh, to support my topic. Okay, this looks, this looks really good. 
And I'm I'm doing this as I'm working with the database. I'm not waiting. I'm not coming up with this all on my own and then coming because this is a big part of the assignment. Possibly the biggest part is you have to back it up with research and they're going to want to see research, not just from Google searches or from Facebook posts, but from these pesky library databases, whether you like it or not. Okay, so there is another example of, of a good way to do this. Uh, this would be a good topic. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.